Hey, Anthony here with another lesson from the Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory series. In this video, I'll cover the Unit 6 review. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new video. There is an index with links in the description so you can easily find the lessons you need. I highly recommend that you own a copy of this book and are only watching this video to check your work, review, or because you got really stuck on something. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is just kind of like a fun little lesson. It's just kind of recapping all the things that you learned in unit six. Um, there's not a whole lot of exercises on it, but here we go. Uh, circle one, uh, the, flat si the flat sign blank raises or lowers the pitch. It lowers the pitch. Circle one, the sharp sign raises or lowers the pitch. It raises the pitch. A natural sign blank a previous sharp or flat cancels is what they're looking for here uh, for an accidental is in effect for blank measure or measures only one measure right so if a sharp or flat or a natural happens right it's only good for one measure cancels at the end of the measure number five write the following notes on the staff below write the note in two places one above the other okay so they just want you to write these uh, each of these notes twice so G sharp so let's just start boom there's the G the next G we have is above the staff sharp them all right C sharp and this is kind of nice because they give you the letter line so you kind of know where they want them uh, put the one C here put the other C down on that ledger line below C sharp C sharp um, if you don't know how ledger lines work, there is a lesson on that. Uh, B flat. Boom. And this B is below the C. So B flat. B flat. All right, this next one, A flat. So make sure you put an A here. Boom. That's also going to be your A. Make sure you get your flat signs. F sharp. Here's one F. And here is the other F. Make sure you get that sharp on them. And last one, D below the staff and D right there. Make sure you get your flats in there. All right, number six, the note F is blank half step or steps above E. It's gonna be one. I highly recommend checking out a keyboard, right? If you, if you don't have a keyboard in front of you, it's good to have one. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna do this. What I always do um, what I would always often do in music theory tests, I'll show you how to draw it. In college, when I took music theory tests, I would just draw a keyboard like this, right? And then I would just go boom, so you make the frame, and then just kind of try to make evenly spaced lines like this, right? And then just go ahead and put three black keys uh, then two black keys, then three black keys. And that kind of helps you just have some sort of a reference so that you know what to look at when you're working on this stuff. Okay, number seven, the note D is one whole step above C, right? So if you look at D and here's C, you would go up a half step, then you would go up another half step. That would give you your whole step. The note F, so F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. The note F is blank whole steps below G. And so here's G, go down a half step, the second half step, boom, uh, is one whole step, okay. There we go. So the note D is a whole step above C. The note F is a whole step below G. There we go, got it. All right, name two notes that are a half step away from A. So find your A, uh, you would go down a half step, that would be G sharp, or you go up a half step, that would be A flat. So G sharp or A flat. The enharmonic note for E sharp would be what? So E up to E sharp would be your F. 
B sharp, go up a half step, is C. So remember, sharps and flats just raise or lower something by a half step. F flat, boom, goes down by a half step to E. And then C flat, right, so here's your C, go down a half step, is also the same as B. All right, now let's do our music crossword puzzle. Okay, fill in the boxes with the correct answers. Do not leave a space between words. Okay, so if it's like, I don't know, half step, no spaces. All right, uh, so let's let's do let's do down first. Why not? Okay, treble and bass staves together. All right, so we're digging back into some old stuff. That's going to be the grand staff. All right, so this kind of covers a lot of the chapters, not just unit six. Actually, I, oh wait, this is the, that's right, that makes sense because this is the end of book one. I just have the, the complete book that has all three books together. But yeah, this is basically covering vocabulary from the first six units. Okay, so number four, oh wait, let's go to three down. Flat, sharp, or natural. Those are called acts. Okay, cross it off when I'm done. What receives one beat in three four time? That is going to be four down. Let's see how what do they give us here? Let's get probably let's just I bet it's quarter note. Quarter note. It is quarter note. All right, lines added to a staff to extend the range, right? We talked about those a little bit. Uh, those are called ledger lines. Five down is ledger lines. All right, lowers pitch by a half tap. That's six down. That's going to be a flat. Curved line connecting two or more notes of the same pitch. Eight down. That should be a three-letter word. Where is it? Yep, tie. Uh, nine down. Five lines in the spaces between. That is going to be our staff. Curved lines connecting two or more notes of different pitches. Remember what that's called? should be a, a four-letter word slur all right now let's go across this should be easy because we've already got a bunch of stuff filled in two across smoothly connected that should be legato it's kind of hard to remember uh that's just their terminology for legato smoothly connected a lot of people use that as well but um just know that that's how they refer to legato in this book uh number seven across the name of the staff used for higher pitches, pitches that is going to be the treble clef. Um, ten across, two, four, three, four, and four, four. Those are all examples of time signatures. Okay, um, twelve across. This symbol increases the value of note by half. That's going to be a dot, so this should be a short word. It is dot. 13, musical silence. That is a rest. All right. 14, on a keyboard, the distance from one key to the next, either left or right. That's going to be a half step. Boom. There you go, cheaters. There is your um, crossword puzzle answers. Hopefully, as I mentioned, that you had that work done first and you're only checking it to see if you got it correct. Um, thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Click the links to watch the next lesson or just jump on ahead to the unit six. Or actually, yeah. Yeah. 
or, or unit seven review. Okay, this was the unit six review. Thanks much, folks. Have a good day.